Hey everybody, we're the band Edison. Uh, we're here at Guitar World Studios uh, playing our GNL tribute series guitars. We're going to talk a little bit about them today. Uh, we're going to introduce ourselves here. You can start there, Jonathan. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, my name is Jonathan from Edison. I'm playing here uh, GNL ASAT special tribute series. A lovely red. Can't miss it. Awesome guitar. Um, hi, I'm James Cruz. I play in Edison, and I'm playing today my beautiful GNL Tribute L2000 bass. How are you guys? Uh, my name is Joel Kelly. I play guitar for Edison, and I'm playing the GNL Tribute Series ASAT Deluxe. Very similar to the uh, the red one, a little bit different finish. Uh, amazing sound of guitar, pickups, beefy, nice uh, pull pot, so you can switch it up. Get a lot of dynamics when you're playing live. Yeah, it's definitely the you know, a year ago, everybody was playing a different instrument in the band, and uh, you know, being the front man in the band, what I really like about the uh, the GNL Tribute Series is that it's we have a sound, a unique sound that's uh, that it was different than kind of a disjointed. Everybody had different instruments and different sounds coming out of their amps, and now it's uh, it's really given the band a great live sound. You know, switching guitars all the time, um, it was always a process, and this kind of like gave us the most versatile instrument. Uh, the Tribute Series, um, with the design of the pickups, different windings that they've put into it, um, PAF style bridge, um, rootsy classic rock in the neck, um, and the neck alone is just phenomenal. The way it plays, very smooth. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about it. <laughs> one, one thing I love about these guitars I noticed right away, um, is I'm also playing a Legacy um, tribute series as well is just how fantastically made the frets and the neck is. It immediately, everything is just aligned perfectly. There's no bumps and crazy, you know, guitar players know we like smooth feeling necks and stuff. And this is definitely the full package as far as that. Yeah. And uh, as Joel said, it's beefy sound, uh, great weight, and a lot of fun to play. Um, this bass is just right out of the box playable. Um, it's just, it's one of those things that just sits right, right in your hand, right on your lap or when you have it strapped up and it just feels like home. Really, really uh, great, great growl on the bass. The, the pickups are fantastic as you can see. It's big, two big uh, humbucker pickups on there. Um, I can't really say you know, enough about it. It's just a uh, just very, very comfortable bass and sounds fantastic. Hey Joel, why don't, hey, you, tell me, uh, why don't you tell me something about this uh, GNL you have here? Yeah, man, this is the, uh, the newest Scari from GNL. This is basically probably the most versatile guitar I've ever played. Went from the, you know, the strats and the Les Pauls and all that, and they came out with this. Uh, funny story, uh, Paul Gagan and uh, Grover Jackson found uh, some specs from, dated back to 1980. That's right, that's right. And uh, Leo's, uh, Leo's specs, yeah, the original specs yeah. for this guitar. Leo Fender's right? specs. And uh, they noticed the headstock was way different from the standard GNLs. Mm -hmm. So they went back and uh, they're like, hey, let's try this out. So That's right. Leo, had, he had things where he wanted to expand from the original, the yeah. original design. And this happened so long ago. And one of the other things is they didn't have the means to do. They, all they were doing before were bolt-on necks. So now they've got a through-the-body neck. That's right. It's a through-body neck. So it's pretty wild. The way this thing feels, the way they've put it together, it, when you're used to playing a heavy Les Paul or you know a Strat where it feels a little bit awkward, this thing just sits on you very well. Um, very versatile too. You know, you got if you're used to like the three on three tuning machines, it's got it. It's got the fat D neck, so it's definitely gets you back into that. You know, well, how's it classic. sound, Joel? How's it sound? Amazing, dude. It's got hardtail, please, just like your classic Les Pauls. Um, pull pot, so you can get that Stratish tone, Tele tone. But when you go into the bridge, you've got that real rootsy, beefy rock tone. Then you go up to the neck, and you got that PAF classic uh, Les Paul Jr. kind of sound. So it's nice. pretty wild. Nice. Definitely love it. What about you, John? What about me? Well, I'm playing here also a GNL guitar. This is a tribute GNL Legacy, um, classic style shape here. And um, this is uh, actually a humbucking. Uh, model, but I've actually thrown in a, a single coil here, so you can do, you know, s screw around with it the way you like. But um, it immediately feels uh, very comfortable and very familiar, and I love it. The neck feels fantastic. The weight is great. 
Um, even though uh, it's a single coil pickup setup, I mean, it's still a very, very beefy sounding guitar and uh, it's a dream to play on. It's very inspirational and uh, I love it. Thanks for coming down. We're Edison. You can catch us live playing the tribute line of g &O guitars. Um, it's the professional working man's instrument, uh, affordable prices, and, um, and we love them. So uh, thank you for having us here at Guitar World. <laughs>